Welcome Aquarius, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with. Okay, so let's start here with the Soul Truth cards. Okay, and just like that, Aquarius, they are out. Am I apologizing for my truth? Who can I serve today? Am I focused on what I want most? Okay, so let's have a look at the first one. Am I apologizing for my truth? What part of you is apologizing for your truth? Why? Today be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us the mantra for that you can repeat here is courage is contagious totally is right totally is okay so tell me more about this for Aquarius please what part of you is apologizing for your truth and why that's a great question man why Tell me more about this for Aquarius, please. Anxiety. Fear. Angel of love. Wow. Okay. I feel like for some of you, there's this... Um, this fear of what other people think. There's judgment. Judgment. From yourself onto yourself. Right? Exposed and revealed. We've got the royal you. And we've got awakening genius. Yeah. Um, these these. This is your truth, okay? I feel like this is your truth here. And this is the fear, okay? And I feel as though, Aquarius, there's a... Um, There are those of you who are extremely gifted and talented who don't want to bring that out because they don't want to be seen. And there's this anxiety that is stopping you from living your truth. And so there's sort of like this cycle of... Um, frustration of feeling like what's the point um, because you're not able to stand in your truth because of this anxiety that comes in and scares you and that's the fear of what people will think about you which is ultimately something that you won't know that is actually about what you think about yourself. What you think others are thinking about you. Because that's what you believe is true. <clears throat> Could have been someone said something to you once. And you've taken it on board and believed it to be the truth. When it's actually not. Yeah. Angel of love. The angel of love is here to help you and guide you through this time. Okay, so this is the, the one that you want to call on. The angel of love is here to protect you, to protect your heart, to nurture you, to know that there's always someone there for you. Because what it is that you are here to do, there's that calling inside of you to do that. But this fear... 
is stopping you. Just put this card up off the floor. Yeah, I love this Aquarius. I love this. Look at this. We've got the storyteller. Okay. And endless possibilities. And this is about you writing this story, right? Because there are endless possibilities to this story. And um, sometimes it can be that, um, you know, well, you know, I know for myself, you know, it can be that there can be this narrow focus on the one path that this could go down, which is only one path, right? There are endless paths that you could travel down with what it is that you need to do, okay? This, these pages are blank here for you to write the story. You know, what do you want that to look like? Because sitting with the anxiety is not how you want to live it, right? You don't want to live caged in. Look at this here. Look, look at these windows here. They've got bars on them, right? Are they windows? Yeah, they're windows. Right? She can't even get out. It's like this inside your head. You know, getting out of your head. Writing down. You know, it could even be that you write down everything in your mind to get it out so that you can start creating this new story. Yeah? Um, because, and, and call on this angel I love to help you, right? To help you. To help you... Um, have this journey, but also to help you love yourself enough to give yourself the opportunities that are there for you. Who can I serve today, right? Maybe the focus is on serving someone else and not yourself, yeah? In a world lacking soul-to-soul -soul connection, small and simple acts are what create the biggest and most lasting impact. We shift our own pain and experience an avalanche of love when we lose ourselves in the service of others. Who needs you today? Yes, perfect. And that is so true because I know when, um, you know, I've, I've had a, one of my children go through this with anxiety. Crippling, absolutely crippling. You know, and we had to... Um, go away and stay at someone else's house for a funeral and she didn't want to come out of the room there was a lot of people around uh, they had a little kitten um, that had been rescued and when she realized the kitten was there she came out she fed the kitten she did everything you know because it had to be fed with a syringe because it was so little um, she you know was out not necessarily mingling with others, but she was there with the kitten. And um, this overrode her anxiety. And so this is a great way to bring out that loving, caring, nurturing person that you are. Okay, so the action to take. Listen to your heart. Who needs you? Make one soulful connection today and give solely to spread more love, expecting nothing in return. Notice the joy that you feel when you serve others. Yes, it's so true. It's so true. Okay, so tell me more about this for Aquarius, please. Serving others. Tell me more about this. Okay, so the first card out is Third Chakra Archangel, who? Chamuel. Yeah, see, this is that, in that solar plexus, right? Which is often where anxiety can be felt. Um, so working on that, getting some work done on that and clearing that, okay? Even meditations on YouTube, um, some Reiki, um, whatever other energy work that you feel drawn to, 
um, to help heal that, okay? We've also got healing the heart as well, which is interesting because this here, when you look at this, you know, ball of energy here, right? Because this is the thing, right? It's about having the energy flow because when it's stuck, it's not flowing through the rest of your chakra system, okay? It's, there's this this um, either blockage or it's very, very um, just, yeah, it's not turning at the speed it needs to be turning. So, you know, and so this is also the healing of the heart as well. And maybe this is what has created the anxiety, right? Um, but anyway, what I want to say here is we've got land, sorry, the land between and this is about you moving from one space to another, you know, and, and, and having this life that you can imagine living without anxiety, if you can imagine that. But knowing that that is possible because you're seeing everyone around you and you're like, why can't I be like that? There's so much more going on for people than what we realize for a start. Um, but, you know, wanting to have this life and wanting to live that understanding that there's a bridge that needs to be crossed it's not going to just happen like that you're not going to just wake up one morning and it's magically happened there are steps that need to be taken right you can rest on the land you can get used to each step along the way you can absorb it into your being you can get used to it in your environment it doesn't have to be done at you know the the um, pace of lightning right it can be done you know, you can be in control of that, but just ensure that each time you're making progress forward, you know, so that it can be cleared for you to write the story, okay? So, yeah, appreciation. Appreciating what it is that you do have, okay? Even the heart that you have, even the fact that you have this angel of love around you, right? Looking at all the little things, little things. You know, it could be, oh, you've got a bed to sleep in. It could be, oh, you have a car. It could be anything along these lines. Little, little things, right? The knife and fork that you might use to eat your eat your um, meals with, you know? Be grateful because that helps also to, um, to shift you, to shift you out of that. Even just one thing, start with one thing. Start journaling this every day. What am I grateful for today? Look for things throughout your day to put into your journal. Aim for five. You know, I'm grateful that the sun rose today. You know, I'm grateful for the rain because it's watering the plants. You know, find, you, you can find things. Yeah. Okay, so am I focused on what I want most? Okay, so this one. One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. That Tony Robbins, that is a quote from Tony Robbins. Okay, so what you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make adjustments? Prioritize, that's really cool. And sitting down and working out what those values are, you know, that may also give you direction as to what it, where it is that you want things to go for yourself. Okay, so tell me more about this, please. One more card for Aquarius. Thank you. Okay, so fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. This is you speaking your truth. This is you living your truth, right? Absolutely living your truth for sure. Okay, so tell me more about this for Aquarius, this truth. Okay. We've got feeling the world, love it, and close encounters. Yeah, man, this is about transformation for you, for sure. Transformation, right? Seeing the possibilities, right? These endless possibilities that you could have in your life. Knowing that that's out there, believing it, appreciating it, yeah? Appreciating that. Because this, I didn't pull cards for appreciation, but that's okay. I wasn't meant to. Appreciation, appreciating what it is that you can grow in your life, the abundance that you can create. What does that look like, you know? And we've got rest and rejuvenation here. And this um, is what I was saying about the land in between, taking time 
in between each step to rest and rejuvenate and actually absorb it into your being. Letting it take place in your life to become used to that. I think that's very important. Wow. Look at this. Waking the lion. This is the strength within you, right? This is this lion that lies within that can come up. Stand up with the courage and the power that you naturally possess within you. To rise up and step into who you truly are, right? And in order to do that, there needs to be a willing release, okay? The dandelion has to, has to release its little doodakies, what are they called? I've lost the name of them. They're petals, even though they're not petals, right? <clears throat> they have to release those in order for them to actually implant themselves to grow into what they're truly meant to be. Okay. You know, ever heard of people blowing on a dandelion, making a wish? Right? And this is what it is for you. And I feel as though it's about you releasing yourself. Releasing yourself and allowing yourself to fly and shine into whatever it is that you are meant to do or be, okay? What you're meant to achieve with your life, yeah? And you've got some ways here to do that by going out and being of service to other people, yes? By actually taking that time to be grateful for what it is that you have knowing that you're supported by the angels, the angel of love specifically. Yeah. And that you have it within you to do this. The belief in yourself. Okay, Aquarius. So yeah, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.